what's up everybody it's me Brandon L from Altec and today we were going to look at um, the Android 7.0 Nougat beta for Android oh, for Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge now this Nougat beta did come out a few days or not even two weeks uh, ago actually out but um, yeah technically I just want to make a quick video on what you will get if you're unsure about installing it or not I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I'm actually very excited to say that this is one of the most stable beta builds of Android 7.0 Nougat I've ever experienced. Now first off you get a um, slightly different Grace UX looking launcher with the Grace UX icons. And also if you don't know this video is being shot on the Xperia Z tablet so that's a quick 1080p test for you. But anyway um, if you go into the app drawer you see that new animation below background. Um, you can also search for apps now which is pretty cool you didn't do that. In the uh, previous uh, Samsung launcher you can also get search history on apps and the new keyboard which is very nice I, I recommend this one um, yeah over the old one it's very nice and if you go down you'll see the new drop down notifications it looks much like the LGB 20s notifications with the white shade um, at the top but if you swipe down again you don't get the brightness slider anymore at the top or the um, text at the top but now you do if you swipe down again so it's a bit of an extra step but i guess if you're not lazy then it's a really cool thing so uh new animation and you can also now swipe left and right to um get to different toggles you get your brightness slider it gives you a little warning if you go above the uh, normal brightness but um here's the android easter egg if you're just wondering it works and yeah my cats i've been collecting these few weeks so i'm very busy with this <laughs> Also, uh, two finger swipe down and something you, you also get Android 7.1 features on this even though this is 7.0 so you do get the app shortcuts you only get app info for now so um, yeah, you only get those at the moment but um, soon you'll get uh, more functions but yeah again this is just the beta but um, anyway if you like Android 7.1 if you just swipe down once you already get your um, setting shortcut and yeah, that's pretty much it, and it looks much like the Note 7 um, settings. But anyway, you can also change your screen resolution now, just like in the Note 7. Now, you can't actually change it at the moment because I put it in a certain mode. But you can change it from Quad HD to 1080p to even 720p if you want to save some battery life. And that's pretty much the best way to save battery life. If I'm not playing games or looking at watching movies, or, or uh, videos um, I usually leave it at 10 p because it saves a lot of battery and you don't really notice the difference so that's a really cool fast way to change the battery and uh, earn some extra you know battery and you also get the new camera now it looks a lot like the note 7 camera the flashbang of the note 7 anyway but let me do a quick test so I will um, so this is the new camera app first of all I only have one hand so so this is the new camera so it looks kind of like the google pixel but if you swipe to the left you get um your modes you can also swipe down or up to get into selfie mode you can swipe to the right for some instagram effects if you're into that and let's just take a quick photo and basically the photo comes out the same as in marshmallow but i think there's some updated image uh processing because after i updated to um nougat i noticed some less sharpening going on so and as you can also see the EIS and the Xperia Z tablet going on here it's actually not supposed to trigger but I'm not actually moving the tablet it's on a tripod or whatever but it's not supposed to move so it's a bit uh, over sensitive on the stabilization but um, yeah whatever but even with the image still comes out pretty much the same with the same detail just the less sharpened than in Marshmallow so I guess that's a good thing because you know the photos used to look very over sharpened um, on this phone. So also this beta is actually really fast. It's one of the fastest uh, software things I've ever seen for the S7. So as you can see I don't have any apps in the background but it seems like everything just loads much faster now. Everything is like uh, hand, hands down much faster than Marshmallow I guess. They just optimize it much better for the uh, phone. And you also do get multi-window but it is actually a bit different. You can still uh, press and hold the multitasking button to get into um, multitasking mode, but you can also drag from the multitasking carousel upwards and then downwards, and then you get your multitask. 
just like nougat but now it's not skinned to samsung anymore it's now skimmed to sock android so you can still uh, do everything you want to um i guess every app ever is supported with this now except for the camera but um yeah that's pretty much it and you also get your um quick slide down little uh, bubble apps or whatever you want to call it small apps like in sony's case but now you can also remove and drag it uh any way you want and of course you also get the new game launcher so uh, it has that new animation when you open it it's not tr uh, it's now transparent with blurred background but now you can add any of your apps of course when you install this nugget update you won't have this update uh like straight out of the uh, flash but you have to uh install it install the update on galaxy apps first but it's very easy to install it but yeah basically you can add any app now to your game launcher if you want or game if you want so and the best feature i think about this update is that you can search for anything files music videos uh stuff on the web if it doesn't come up like i want to search like um so i want to search uh the chain smokers yeah as you can see it's coming up with the chain smokers and stuff and yeah some of my um songs as well it's also there so that's very nice to see so now you're probably thinking why would i install a beta on my phone well let's just begin by saying this beta is extremely stable i haven't seen any bugs in this um in this uh in this build anyway but because um yeah it's, it's really smooth and the only bug i've maybe ever seen on this is um when you're in landscape and you want to quick quickly like go down with the notification bar the notification bar is usually on the left not the middle so that's a small bug but you can fix it by just tilting it to portrait and landscape again but yeah everything is brought up from the note 7 and improved if not better so um i really recommend flashing this you can i think flash this without wiping your data in stock recovery you don't need root or anything you just download I'll try to provide a link in the description down below for S7 users and S7 Edge users. And this will work on the international version if you're on Verizon or T-Mobile or if you have a Snapdragon variant. You have to go into XD and download a uh, beta from there. So, But if you have the um, 930F, the G935F or the G930 or G935W8, you can flash this. So that's awesome to see. And the last thing I want to show you guys is um, that now only not you, you don't not only have a briefing now you also have updates so it's kind of like this new news aggregator as well like um, like briefing but it's just a bit more sorted so you don't have to swipe a million pages down you just have three pages and you can get more with the search bar so that's pretty nice I still disable it because it still lags when you try to open and close it and it still saves a lot of memory by disabling it anyway I just like going into Google now I'm going down anyway but um yeah that's pretty much it for this uh beta guys so yeah i recommend checking it out in the description down below it's really smooth as you can see really stable really fast everything just loads without a hiccup as you can see settings already loaded everything's perfectly flawless uh, except for the notification bar um glitch but again you can fix that in the update and uh yeah guys thank you for watching this video uh this was a quick test with the Xperia Z tablet camera on 1080p and the quick test on the Nougat beta update for the S7. So if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't. And I will be sure to check you guys out in the next one. Peace out.